Hey, I wanted to shoot an update on my Emode Record Junior. I was able to locate an individual in Central Florida here, in the Orlando metro area, who uh, could help make some repairs to the radio to get it functioning a little better. And uh, he did a great job. So I'm going to turn this bad boy on here and uh, show you what's what. So one thing I didn't know is there are actually side lights here and here. Uh, so those are not working, which you can kind of see a little bit in the daylight. Um, but you know, like I said, it's a tube radio, so it'll take a minute to come on. Here we go. We will get some more of your comments as the hour goes on. Feel free to comment. Sounds on great. Page. Tweet us at one A. The FM Twitter reception of where I live, w north of Orlando, is kind of hit and miss. So I don't get too many channels up here, uh, but the ones I do pick up tend to sound really good. At a sunset, the approved credit may require FMCC financing, 36 month lease with 25. Let's see if I can find some music here. Ninety-three-seven K Country. He'll be in Astatula for the big Veterans Day concert. Sounds yeah, great. Let me find a lot of people. See if I can pick up a station. Comes in pretty well. And, uh, you can tell this week, it, is, it sounds fantastic. Jetta, or Passat, and David Moss Volkswagen will pay your sales tax. It's a David so uh, it's, in, it's, it's working great. Uh, the speakers had a little bit of drag. Um, Chris, who is the, the guy who prepared this for me, was able to get that fixed. Uh, one of the magnets inside was a little out. But like I said in my initial video, the, uh, the case is in great shape. Um, we were able to clean up the switches a little bit here. And, uh, and otherwise, I may try to buff out some of the, um, the veneer a little bit, a couple of the deeper scratches, but uh, this thing looks fantastic. Um, I did find out on the back, let me try to swing this around here, the mystery plugs. So, <clears throat> It does have a built-in antenna, which I, I wasn't aware of at the time, but I've now learned. So this actually comes up and wraps around the case, and you can see that in my first video. I'm not going to take this off. Um, now there's a, a, an external antenna as well. I don't remember if VHF is AM or FM. I think it's FM. Um, I could be wrong, but but either way, the, the reception up here isn't the best anyways. Even my car, I have a... I have a basically brand new crossover and even then the FM reception up here is, is pretty weak. Um, just Orlando radio just doesn't have super strong stations uh, for both the AM or the FM. Um, the, another antenna for I believe the AM um, but uh, for the pickup down here I was able to find out this actually takes banana uh, um, pins so or not pins but banana jacks so uh, I thought it was a unique plug, um, but it's actually just two banana jacks. Uh, the middle is, from what I understand, some sort of ground for if you get the actual plug itself as opposed to two individual jacks, but it's not needed. We were able to, uh, at Chris's, he was able to show me how it plugged in um, and, uh, and sample the input. It sounded great. So I'll need to get two banana jacks. Uh, there's a converter I got to get. To handle mono and, and a couple other uh, coax converter it's like three or four pieces i got to put together to make that jack so i can run it uh, from my old imac workstation that's actually a 2009 uh, 27 inch imac with the the old it was like a 3.2 quad core whatever but i got 16 gigs of ram in it big old honk and external hard drive and this is where i this is basically just a, a media server for my home now but I have all my music on there, uh, all my old um, jazz and big bands and um, 
all, just all sorts of stuff. I got all my old Jack Benny recordings and just radio shows, all my stuff. So I'll be able to pump that into into the radio here, and it just looks it just looks great on my shelf. Um, those are actually two pieces uh, from Africa, um, from a village in Africa. My uh, my mother um, travels overseas for mission trips, and she always tries to get me some local arts and crafts. Um, I you know I don't know if they're mass produced locally or not, but anyways, they're they're kind of neat, so I keep those on the shelf as well. But yeah, so the radio is working fantastic. Um, you know, eventually some of the parts inside will wear out. There was one small tube that needed to be replaced that, that they took care of as well. But otherwise, there were just a few capacitors that he swapped out and a couple other, uh, a couple other things. Um, the, there's a, one other piece that if those go, we won't be able to function. It's a phosphate or something. I don't know. I'll ask Chris later. Um, but, you know, as long as I'm not listening for two, three hours at a time, you know, a half hour there, hour there, and I don't leave it turned on, uh, and plugged in all the time. It should last me uh, quite a while. So, so that's my update. Really happy news. Couldn't be happier. I just think this is a great radio. It looks fantastic. Uh, amazing um, display piece, and I'm super happy it's functional.